Hey, it's Josh coming to you live from the RPM shop. Uh, I've got one of my best bow fishing buddies here, Hayden James. Um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the nitro and give you a quick uh, rundown as far as how to tear these cams and these timing wheels off of your nitro. One of the neat things and one of the engineering uh, features that we offered in the nitro is that you don't have to have a cam puller in order to pull these, uh, these cams off along with these timing wheels. So, the real quick and easy way to do this, and I know Hayden can beat me to it and he's a lot faster at it than I am, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. There's a set screw <clears throat> right here on the top of the cam. It's on the opposite side of the timing wheel. So this set screw here, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna back that out. So you take your Allen wrench, back that set screw out. The next thing that you've gotta do is you've gotta take the set screw out of the module, which is this set screw right here. So you've gotta back this set screw out. And you're gonna set these off to the side. Hey, don't. Make sure we don't lose those, those are important. Then what you're gonna do is take your Allen wrench, you're gonna push the module out. So the module will come out, and then the cam will simply slide off of the hexagonal axle. That's how you do it, and then you can pull the other side off. You gotta be careful, because there's a bunch of uh, two bearings in here that are full of needle bearings. Um, pull this back, just like this. Timing wheel will come off, you can replace it, you can anodize it. There's a set screw on this cam as well, so you can take that apart if you wanted to film dip it, customize it. Super easy to do. You can do it all in your shop with just a few, uh, few simple tools. Again, no cam pullers, nothing like that's necessary. The way that you put it back together, same deal. Make sure you put your uh, timing wheel back on your cam on the, uh, the right side of the bow. Slide that axle through those needle bearings. Be careful when you push those through. Grab yourself your other cam. Slide it on, and again, being that it's uh, hexagonal, the axle is, you can't get it uh, so that it doesn't line up. So you're not going to have to worry about splines. Everything's going to line up perfect. Once you're there, then you're going to go ahead and put the module back in. <clears throat> put it back into the, the cam itself. Set screws. Perfect. Nice work. Then you're going to put those back in your Allen wrench. <clears throat> Drive these back through like so. So you're going to tighten that one down. Good there. And then you're going to take this set screw on the cam part. And it's all beveled into the axle. So again, it'll self-seat. Just back that down in there. Tighten it up. Restring it. And you're back off on the water. For other tips on the nitro, visit rpmbowfishing.com. We'll see uh, Hayden and I, we'll see you out on the water.